Before doing the math, let's know what is the capital asset pricing model. The capital asset pricing model, in short CAPM, describes the relationship between systematic risk and expected return for assets, particularly stocks. CAPM is widely used throughout finance for pricing risky securities and generating expected returns for assets given the risk of those assets and cost of capital. Let's know the formula of CAPM. Here we can see that RI is equal to RF plus beta into RM minus RF. Let's know what this abbreviation means. ERI or RI in the beginning means expected return of investment where RF is equal to risk-free rate, beta means beta of the investment, and here RM or ERM minus RF is equal to market risk premium. Here RM, RM is uh, the expected market return on investment, okay? So let's do a math. Imagine an investor is contemplating a stock worth $100 per share today that pays a 3% annual dividend. The stock has a beta compared to the market of 1.3, which means it is riskier than a market portfolio. Also assume that the risk-free rate is 3% and this investor expects the market to rise in value by 8% per year. Now let's do the math. Here, expected rate of return or ERI is equal to first one we have to find out the risk free rate so the risk free rate is 3% see uh, in the fourth line also assume that the risk free rate that I've marked in red is 3% so 3% is given we have found a risk free rate now we have to find out beta uh, beta is given in the third line which started from the second line, the stock has a beta compared to the market of 1.3. Don't make mistake, it's not 1.3%, beta is never given in percentage, it's 1.3. Now we have found our risk free rate, we have found our beta, now we have to find out our RM. So RM is the expected market return on investment. So which is given in the fourth lines so investor expects the market to rise its value by eight percent per year which is your rm so rm is eight percent minus rf we have found three percent it's always more accurate if you make you know convert those percentages in decimal so three percent is equal to if you uh, you know divide three percent three divided by hundred is 0 0.03 plus 1.3 will be 1.3 because it's not given in percentage as I mentioned before multiplied by 8% if you convert it into uh, decimal we get 0 0.08 minus 3% means 0 0.03 if you do the calculation we get 0 0.095 or if you multiply it by 100 we get 9.5% okay now that we know how to do the math let's know why CAPM is important. The CAPM formula is widely used in the finance industry. It is vital in calculating the weighted average cost of capital or work in short, as CAPM computes the cost of equity. WAC is used extensively in financial modeling. It can be used to find the net present value or NPV of the future cash flows of an investment and to further calculate its enterprise value and finally its equity values so so see everything is interrelated so capping is very important now let's know what is expected return the eri notation above represents the expected return of a capital asset over time given all of the other variables in the equation expected return is a long-term assumption about how investment will play out over its entire life. So risk fee rate is, the RF notation is for the risk fee rate, which is typically equal to the yield on 
a 10 year US government bond the risk free rate should correspond to the country where the investment is being made and the maturity of the bond should match the time horizon of the investment professional convention however is to typically use the 10 year rate no matter what because it's the most heavily quoted and most liquid bond now let's know what is beta the beta is a measure of the stock's risk reflected by measuring the fluctuation of its price changes relative to the overall market in other words it is the stock's sensitivity to market risk for instance if a company's beta is equal to 1.5 the security has 150 percent of the volatility of the market average however if the beta is equal to 1 expected return of security is equal to the average market return a beta of minus 1 means security has a perfect negative correlation with the market market risk premium from the above components of capm we can simply simplify the formula to reduce expected return of the market minus the risk free rate to be a simply the market risk premium the market risk premium represents the additional return over and above the risk free rate which is required to compensate investors for investing in a riskier asset class. Put another way, the more volatile a market or an asset class is, the higher the market risk premium will be.